Hello everyone, you are watching Metflix and today we are going to learn about onion peel phenomenon of diseases. So here we go. So uh, dear friends, onion peels have been used metaphorically or to explain various concepts time and again. Similarly, in epidemiology too, we use the analogy of peels of onion or layers of onion to explain the co concept of changes in occurrence of diseases. So, we, uh, whenever there is a change in the pattern of diseases in the society, we can use the example of layers of onion or peels of onion to explain the same. So, as we go on, we will learn uh, how it is used or what is it. But before we go on, we have to know a few definitions that are very important to understand this lecture. So, I have already mentioned the term epidemiology. So, what is epidemiology? Epidemiology is a study of distribution and determinants of health related events in specified populations and the application of this study to the control of health problems. So now you will ask me what is distribution? Distribution means who is affected, when the uh, health event has occurred and where it has occurred. Okay, So time, place and person. TPP. Now there may be different determinants of a health related event. Yeah. So it may be host factor or the agent factor or the environment factor. So a host of reasons may be there. And what are health related events? Health related events are uh, any event that is related to health or disease. Yeah. Say for example, uh, if someone is having a fever or TB, it is a health related event. Again, death or any kind of illness is again a health related event if someone is aging even that is health related event if someone has attained puberty even that is health related event yeah. if someone is having menstruation and you want to do a study about that even that is health related event so all these things are health related events now where this uh, study is done it has to be in a specified population so you have to define the population before you start the study or you uh, make the uh, notes of your observations yeah and after you have done your study then you have to analyze your study and then you have to apply the analysis or the knowledge you have attained from the study for controlling the different health problems that you'll be finding yeah so i hope it is clear what is epidemiology so generally the most common definition of epidemiology is of John Lust. Okay. Now, what is communicable diseases or infectious diseases? So, it is pretty evident from the name itself. Communicable diseases that can be communicated uh, from one person to another. Yeah. Then, uh, or you can say that uh, infectious diseases, that is, if one person is infected and he can infect the other person, then it is called communicable disease. So, any disease that can that is caused by microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, or parasites and fungi that can be spread directly or indirectly from one person to another is called a communicable or infectious disease. So, how it is different from contagious diseases? Contagious diseases, the word contagious comes from the word contact. So, uh, in contact contagious diseases, you have to touch the person to get the disease okay so examples of uh, communicable diseases are um, it can be insect bite uh, transmitted through insect bites so it can be diseases like um, scrub typhus or it can be food borne say e coli infection or diff um, staphylococcal um, diary diarrhea yeah or food poisoning then waterborne like cholera or typhoid again airborne or droplet infection like measles and now the presently pandemic of coronavirus is going on even that is airborne or 
uh, it's not proven uh, airborne as it but it is a droplet infection or it can be STIs STIs are sexually transmitted infections like AIDS or gonorrhea yeah or syphilis so now we learn about what is non-communicable disease or NCDs these diseases are also known as chronic diseases why because they tend to be of long duration yeah and these diseases are a resultant of various factors so these diseases are multifactorial in origin the causes might be genetic physiological environmental behavior factors or an interplay of all these factors together examples of the ncds are cancer diabetes mellitus or cardiovascular diseases or even obesity now what is emerging infectious diseases i'll give you example first covid 19 or coronavirus disease 19 is a type of emerging infectious diseases so what do you understand it is a new disease okay so this is clear now which this is a new disease whose incidence has increased in the past 20 years and could increase in near future so another example is sars that was also a coronavirus infection and it was a pandemic originated from china in 2000 and occurred in uh, around 2003-2004 yeah then comes re-emerging diseases re-emerging diseases are diseases that reappear after they have been on a significant decline so re-emergence may happen because of breakdown in public health measures for diseases that were once under control or even they might occur by human behavior or even due to drug resistance yeah so what are the examples examples are malaria tuberculosis cholera pertussis influenza or even STS like gonorrhea etc so uh, one example of re-emerging diseases is diphtheria so earlier diphtheria was very common uh, in under five children but then because of uh, very robust immunization program in most of the countries diphtheria is now a disease a very rare disease to occur in especially in under five but in many places what we have seen is they again re-emerging and not uh, since the under five people uh, under five or the younger people are generally having good immunity against uh, diphtheria due to vaccination programs they are infecting now which people are getting infected the older generation is getting infected in people young adults in 20s or even older people are getting infected by diphtheria so this is one very good example of re-emerging disease and the good example of re-emerging disease is measles so in some places you will see there have been zero number of cases for a uh, huge number of years and suddenly measles is reappearing so generally uh, what we used to do we used to give only one measles vaccine uh, in lifetime but due to this re-emergence we have decided that we'll give two doses of measles vaccine in life till uh, in lifetime so that immunity is maintained even in older generations okay i hope it is clear what is non-communicable disease what is communicable disease what is emerging infection or what is re-emerging disease so now finally coming to what is onion peel phenomenon or concept of diseases so as we know the trend or the pattern of occurrence of diseases changes over a period of time and often the incidence of old and existing diseases becomes less and lesser and newer or less prevalent diseases become gradually they become more and at some point they will take over this already existing diseases i mean this already existing diseases will cease to occur or will occur in very less proportions at some instances what happens is infectious or communicable diseases will be replaced by non-communicable 
or non-infectious ones owing to lifestyle changes or due to genetic, physiological or environmental factors. So what happens is the trend changes from infectious to non-infectious. While at other instances what happens is prevalent infections will be replaced by emerging infectious diseases or re-emerging infectious diseases. So this phenomenon where the trend or pattern of diseases or in short the epidemiology of diseases changes is called uh, onion peel phenomenon and why it is called so because when one layer of diseases is removed or ceases to occur other layer of diseases emerges and this cycle goes on so now we know why on what is onion field phenomenon and why it is called so i hope that this uh, presentation was very useful for you because um, you will find very less literature on on the internet or even in uh, community medicine or public health books so um, the references are so friends th these are the references and as we have come to the end of the lecture i would request you to subscribe to the channel and to share the videos of Netflix and to come back here again and again for more uh, such material that might not be even found in regular books or you have to do extensive research so uh, you can always surf our channel on youtube and learn more thank you